It's about lowering your credit card rates. Then came the calls claiming to be from the IRS. Well, now there is a new automated call driving everybody crazy. Joanne Purden shows us what it is so you don't waste your money. Maybe you've gotten a call from a robocaller who's become known as Emily the Headset Girl, a telemarketer who claims she dropped her headset. We wanted to know who's behind these calls and is there any way to stop them? Remember Rachel? Hello, this is Rachel at Cardholder Services. Now it's a giggling young woman named Emily harassing us. Hello? Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry about that. I was um having a little problem with my headset. Anyway, my name is Emily. And then a girl comes on, very nice voice, and says, can you hear me? A few weeks ago, Mary and Diana told the Don't Waste Your Money team she's received several Emily calls, always with those headset issues. It's always, can you hear me? I have to fix my headset. Several attorney general offices and the Better Business Bureau worry saying yes could lead to unexpected charges. But the hoax-busting website Snopes.com isn't so sure, saying in part, quote, we haven't yet been able to identify any scenario under which a scammer could authorize charges in another person's name simply by possessing a voice recording of that person saying yes, end quote. Still, experts think you're better safe than sorry, don't say anything and hang up. Meantime, ScamDetector.com find similarities of the Emily the Headset call to calls from a Mexican-based travel company that has used some of the same lines before. For instance, Emily always claims you've stayed at their resorts. And I'm calling because you stayed at one of our resorts in the past? Answer yes, and you get a live operator who then tries to sell you a vacation, Scam Detector says. No matter what's behind the calls, if you've had enough, you may be able to block them with apps like Nomo Robo or True Caller. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.